morning guys and welcome back to the channel so today i am going to be showing you guys another day of what i eat in a day but portugal edition so i'm starting the day off with some yummy watermelon this is probably the best tasting watermelon that i've ever had in my whole life um it was just absolutely delicious and it was local so I also had coffee in the morning and fresh water as well. So on this day I decided to make a berry bake just because it's quick and easy and it will you know, also give me extra servings. So I just have some regular organic oats that I'm using and then I also have hemp hearts so that I can sprinkle in as well. I'm using frozen strawberries because that is what I had on hand. Um, I did have some fresh fruit, but I decided to use up the rest of these strawberries. I'm just eyeballing it and throwing some into that little serving dish. The serving dish looks a lot bigger on the screen than it really was, but I guess you'll see it later on from a little bit farther away so you can get a better idea of how big it is. So I'm just throwing in those oats, again, not measuring. Um, and then I'm going ahead and adding the strawberries. So I also added in some organic cinnamon and I also added some coconut sugar and that's pretty much it. Then I just gave it a good mix. And because I had some extra protein powder that I needed to use up, this pea protein, um, I decided just to throw that in the oats as well. And I'm using almond milk for my oat bake. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. If you like health and wellness types of videos, quick and easy recipes, and at the moment I'm just posting some quick videos of my trip and my stay for a month in Portugal. But other than that, we're going to get back to our quick and easy videos. So if you like those types of videos, consider subscribing. So because I was using the gas stove, this cooked up really, really quick, a lot quicker, like 15 minutes quicker than it normally does at home for me. So I think it was done in like 20 minutes um, and it was fully cooked and perfect. And yeah, I just added some extra ham parts on top before I popped it into the oven. And yeah, just basically set a timer and took it out because that gas stove I had some major issues with. I'm not used to cooking on a gas stove, so I really had to be mindful and keeping an eye on everything because it was really easy to overcook things and burn things in that little thing. It was a small little oven, but man, it packed some heat. So this is how my oats turned out. I just put them in a bowl, mashed it together. Um, sometimes if I find them still too dry, I'll just give a splash of milk as well to it. But yeah, they look kind of gross, but they tasted amazing with the protein powder. It was like very vanilla-y and delicious. So I had that before I headed out for the day. So 
So we were going to the city just to eat at a restaurant that we really liked and kind of shop and look around. So we decided to go to this little restaurant and they have the most amazing pizza ever. So I did pick that up and they load it with veggies and the dough is probably the best pizza dough I've ever had. It was delicious. And then while we were there, we just had some pina coladas while we were walking around. And then for dinner we went to a property that's close by and it has a beautiful restaurant and so we decided to try it out and they did have some vegan options which were really exciting because I thought oh well at least I can have a salad but no I actually had a proper meal and I just had um, the tofu and it's kind of garlicky with yummy roasted potatoes and they also gave me a veggie rice and I just had cantaloupe for dessert on that day as well. And that's pretty much it. That is what I had on that day. I did cook a lot more at home versus eating out, but on this day, it was an eating out kind of day. So thanks for watching the video. Thanks so much for the support on the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.